More provisions, more women. Why aren't you smiling, Wincar? It is not women that will defeat the army. It's weapons. Weapons and warriors. The women will bring gauchos. The gauchos, their guns. The guns will bring you warriors from every tribe. Soon, the whole pampas will be yours once more. Soon, Padron. It must be soon. Before my son fades from the sky. Well, if it doesn't but say so. Army life too tough for you, or Captain Martin send you out after me? Send us? He's out there looking for us. How many men with him, Petito? Who did you there, girl? Follow me. Now, what's on your mind, little man? Well, uh, we, we just heard that you... You heard that Padron had a woman for you, isn't that so? Come on, let me hear you say it. What, uh, what do we have to do? Do? All you have to do is to pick one out for yourself. That one. I want that one. It's a correct. It's a correct. You're just not lucky in love, Patiso. That one is spoken for. Unless... Uh... Unless you feel yourself strong enough to take her away from him. <laughs> Give him a knife. You lived on the pampas long enough to know they don't fight with knives, Petito. <laughs> I bet a thousand pesos he smashes Petito's gully. Hey, hey, hey. I go. Go, 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 go. Patiso. 
Captain Martin will be sorry to lose a good man like you. Do I get her now? <laughs> Come here. I don't know what you can do with her in the shape you're in, but you get her. <laughs> One thing more, little man. You're one of us now. And when Pedro says fight, you fight. And you keep on fighting until there's no more army on the pampas. I will do anything Winkle says. He never says. Pedro says. You remember that, gaucho. You get yourself a woman. Two more men for us, two less for Captain Martin. It's his horse, all right. How long ago? About three hours. Captain! They're Indians, all right. One of them's a renegade. You take the men after the Indians when they split up. Everybody, get up! Grab him on a horse. I 
I think you ought to kill him right now, sir. I've got better things in mind for him. We'll let the men see what happens to deserters. All right, let's go. I've never seen the captain so full of hate before. Not even with a renegade. Padron is different. I wonder why he doesn't finish him off then and be done with it. They don't want each other to die. Why not? They both love the same things. You know, Charlatan, sometimes I just don't understand you at all. Then don't ask me anything. Now you'll have to work like woman. Bake your bread, you've lost the battle. The Lord spoke right when he said it, and the Lord knew all about life. Man should never live alone. Man's no man without his wife. Not for me, our books and learning. I'm a gaucho, nothing more. Yet I know a man alone is just a ship adrift ashore. Ah, shut up that whining, can't you? Shut up, Isidro. I like to hear it. Looks like Patiso didn't get very far. That's not Patiso. It's Padron himself. those leathers down good, Sergeant. The sun won't be up again for a long time. And when it is, Padron won't be here. You'll be here. Till the vultures pick your bones dry. What about my brother? Aren't you going to bury him? I'm leaving him for the vultures, too. Captain? Captain? General Chavez is waiting for you inside, sir. General. Hello, Captain. That one of the Padron brothers? The smiling one. We killed the other one, too. Splendid. It's going to make our job easier. Not much. The men are still deserting like rats. Ten Padron brothers in their graves wouldn't solve that problem. Captain. Oh. This is Lieutenant Del Rio. He's replacing the officer who... Deserted. Very pleased, sir. We heard a lot of you in the academy. At the what? Why, the military academy in B Buenos Aires, sir. The, the first class graduated this year. Del Rio was second highest. How many were in the class? 49, sir. Why didn't I get the top man? All right, what'd you hear about me at the academy, young man? Well, uh, that you were one of the best officers in the Argentine army. 
Even though you were somewhat difficult with the men serving under you. And sometimes the men over him, too. Sit down, Del Rio. Don't worry so much about not being first. The situation's bad, and it's not getting better. All reports are that the Indians are holding their own with us. Holding their own, if it was only that. Winkle and his savages are actually defeating the Argentine army. You mean Wincall and our savages? He's got almost as many renegades as he has Indians. What makes the soldiers desert? Wincall got an idea, probably from Padron. He offered to give the soldiers women if they'd come over to his side. Since then, we've lost half our garrison. But why can't the men live without women? At least for a couple of years till we defeat the Indians. What kind of academy was that you went to? A lot of these men are convicts, some of them even murderers. Around here, all they can do is fight and run the fort. On top of which, the army won't let them bring their wives and women out here. Why shouldn't they desert? They're soldiers, and this is a war, that's why. Yeah, that's what it says in the book, General. But none of our men can read. I told you a long time ago, there's only one solution. You'll be happy to learn that the chief of staff has decided to try out your solution. Over my strongest objections, What solution, sir? The army is going to send women to Fort Toro. Women? It's fantastic. What kind of women would want to live out here? Oh, a countess, a duchess or two. What else? <laughs> There's much hope of catching them in the dark. Not a chance in hell. Viejo. I will do, Captain. I will desert you. Well, how did it happen, Viejo? My kid always does. Padron will give them women. I should have killed him. All right, I'm going after the cargo at once. I'll take command of the fort until you return. You'll have an easier time if you tell them what I'm bringing back for them. I don't want an easy time. I want good soldiers. Shall I go along with the captain, sir? Sure, why not? Might as well see what a countess looks like. still has a lame leg, no sign of Indians. All right, Lieutenant, you take command here till I can catch up. 
Yes, sir. All right, men. Take a rest. Have you come to pray for her, Captain? Then why do you still come here? Do you know yourself? We're almost there. <clears throat> well, sir. Uh, Gato. It's like this, sir. The men was just wondering if, well, since we've already come this far, and since it's only a couple more days' ride to San Pedro... Why would you want to go all the way to San Pedro? When already a dozen women are waiting for you right over that hill. I know most of you men have almost forgotten what a woman looks like, but let's get this straight. You can look at them all you like, but all you're going to do until we get them back to the fort is look. Mm. Uh, Captain? We just want you to know we'll never forget what you're doing. I'd better get used to doing my own work. Miss, for the last time, just tell me where your brother is. And I could let you stay behind. I've already told you. I don't know where my brother is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Then tell me a lie, for God's sake. Say anything we can check into, and they'll have to go without you. If your beloved government could hear you talk like that, you'd be sent along with us. And I don't think you'd find the job much different from your present one. God will punish you for this. Maybe it'll do her some good. Would you take it down for me, please? Anything for a lady. Thank you so much. You've got a heart of gold, good looking. Oh, so well, here they come, girls. 
All right, pick up your things and follow me. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Let's go. Give him a smile, girls. so sad, girls. The money's good and there's no place to spend it. You'll go home rich in a few years. Save the speech for your troops, Gerald. We know what we're in for. Sergeant, put the ugly one on half rations and if that doesn't shut her up, strap her to a horse. Yes, sir. Look. She's lovely. Do you know her, Captain? I know the type. All right, Sergeant, get him in the wagons. All right, ladies. Forward! Through groups and get to the wagons. Five in the first, five in the second. <laughs> Come on! You do what I say if you know what's good for you. Waste all your strength in shouting, boy, because later you're going to be needing it. Inside, inside. In, 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 in. Oh, what's that? Get everybody ready. Everybody ready! I'm afraid you'll have to take this one along too, Captain. They just caught him trying to escape the country. Why does the army get all the riffraff? Why well, didn't make the law. Anyway, he's one of those dangerous anarchists. Calls himself, uh, Carreras. Of course, you never know what their real names are. Excuse me, sir. May I correct him? I'm a journalist by profession and a revolutionary by inclination and philosophy. And as for dangerous, no more so than his policemen with no sense of social justice. My name indeed is Carreras. Unlike you, sir, I knew who my father was. Get him out of here before I all shoot. All right, all right. I want to get going. Can you ride? Well, sir, I can always learn, but I'm somewhat handicapped. Well, get in one of the wagons. And keep your hands off the cargo. Be careful, Captain. He's a slippery one. All right, let's go. My name is Miguel Carreras, a revolutionary and philosopher. And may I say what an extreme pleasure it is to find myself in such beautiful company for this tedious journey. <laughs> well, looks like a nice lunch you girls are enjoying there. Would you like an empanada, Sergeant? <laughs> 
I'd be alive if I said no. One silver peso, Sergeant. You're a girl after my own heart, me, huh? The olives for free. For free? I won't ever forget your kindness. <laughs> Camila, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's not the place to discuss it. Look, even if they were awake, they wouldn't understand what we're talking about. My brother is Federico Olmeda. Do you know him? Yes, I was with him a month ago. How was he? You mean the only reason the government sent you out here is because you won't tell them where your brother's hiding? Yes, what else? Stream's just a few miles away. Some trees there, too. Well, that's good cover. We'll bed down there for tonight. <laughs> Expecting any trouble? I always expect it. But tomorrow we'll be approaching Wincall's territory. Amy, look out there. You won't see that in the country you come from. Fighting? No, they're catching your dinner for tonight. sometime. Maybe I'll show you how to butcher a steer. It's a, it's a kind of useful thing for a woman to know. Oh, it takes a strong man to do those things like you. <laughs> I'm a lot stronger than I look. Uh, the wiry type. You know what I mean? Yes, I have met a few wire dubs before. <laughs> Maybe after you've had your dinner, you and I could... Hey, uh... hey, hey! Get over there where you belong, little lady, before he cuts his fingers off. And you, you... Go down by the river and wash these knives off. And jump in yourself till you cool your pants off. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Captain. Don't you think you could uh, remove the chains now that we've stopped for the night? I'll decide for myself when to remove the chains. <laughs> that one sure has something the others haven't got. Too bad she's one of those. Who said she is? But they're all alike. Aren't they? That one's a political prisoner, just like Carreras. Thank you, sir. Go on, go on. This all we get? Lucky to get anything. Take it, that's it. Hey, Sergeant, what about me? Oh, I've been wondering where you were. I've been saving you the best piece. Two silver pesos. Hmm. Uh-uh, I said two. Have you forgotten the olive I gave you for free? Well, it's fair, huh? Hey, Sergeant, are you rich? What's that to you? I like a man who saves his money. <laughs> Captain, you believe in mind reading? What do you mean? I was betting myself, sir that I could read your thoughts. I'll cover that bet. If you win, I'll, uh, I'll give you the key to those irons. You were thinking, sir, how you're gonna be able to keep your men away from the madams until they reach the fort. Wish it was that simple. There's another problem, sir, very important. I've got enough problems, Carreras. All right, that's enough. The women will sleep over by the coaches, and the men not on sentry duty on this side of the fire.
Why don't you lie next to me, Carmen? It's soft as a feather mattress. You snore too much. I'm going down by the river. Before I, I kill you. Are you coming with me? Or do you wonder for yourself? Your question. Go on! Pesos. where you belong. Captain, I, I caught this man. Never mind. You two are acting like children. If I hear another word from either of you, you'll both be put in irons. Keep those men away from the women. Yes, sir. I keep telling them every time I turn around. Well, then don't turn around. Right backward if you want to, but carry out your orders. Get away from there. Stay away, everybody. Away. Keep away. Indians? Two of them. Probably spying on us. Keep moving, but tell the ladies to stay out of sight. Tried to get him alive, but the fall killed him. One of Wincal's? Looks like it. The horse was ridden pretty hard, too. Well, bring him along. We can use him. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. <laughs> Captain, I, I just couldn't. I can see you couldn't, Sergeant. They got out by themselves while we're crossing. Don't you know what will happen if Pedrone finds out about these women? Bound to find out sooner or later. Thanks to you, he's probably found out sooner. If you can't control nine women, how do you expect to handle a hundred men, huh? All right, get back in those wagons. Will you get out of the water? Come on, come on, come on, hurry. I mean now. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, move, move, move. All right, let's go. When we're ready, we'll come. What do you think we're afraid of you? <laughs> Get 
Captain. Pretty good shot, aren't you, Captain? Not that good. I was aiming at her head. Patrol, I come from White Captain. Come with tomorrow. White Captain from the fort. Bring nine women. What do you say? Women? Nine women. Sergeant and a new officer come with them. Women for the fort? The captain always did promise he'd get us some. How many men with him? Maybe 15. Maybe 20. More horses than men. They go to Fat Man before tonight. Yeah, I have a so. You'll have the army too soon. It'll be one woman for every 10 of you. <laughs> we make a time. <laughs> You tell Wynn Carl I said to give you 50 men now. I'm bringing our captain back alive. Yeah, that's what my men have been telling me. You're going to feed them, Vigo. But I've only got a little stick of an Indian girl to do all that cooking. Hey. Go in the kitchen and help him. That's a fine figure of a woman. You want to know something? She's got a lot of money, too. You don't say. Thousands and in gold. The other girls have told me all about her. Ruku? This distinguished lady is going to help you in the kitchen. Now, come on. There's a lot of work to do. Please, lady. Vigo! Yes, sir? Bring us a barrel of Kanye, too. Right away. You gonna let us drink, Captain? When did you ever stop, Chicha? Now, listen. Tonight, you can drink and dance and do anything you like, except one thing. Tomorrow night at the fort, you can do that, too. Well. <laughs> Is anything wrong? Is there a room or some place I can be alone for a while? Of course. Stay here and I'll find you something. Hmm? What am I going to do with you when we get back to the Fort Carreras? You talk too much to make a gaucho. I was thinking about that same thing, Captain. What would happen to a... Well, say, what would an officer in charge do if one of his prisoners just happened to escape? You'd chase him, hang him. Not too many places to hide in the pampas. <laughs> I was afraid of that, sir. <laughs> What happens with a pregnant girl, Captain? Would you believe it? One of the men wants to marry her. I believe it. Captain, what are you going to do with Camellia now that you don't have any reason to keep her? When? You see, your government sent her out here because you wouldn't reveal information to where her brother was hiding. Well, her brother's dead. I saw him die. Why couldn't you have told me that before we started? I tried it, Captain, but you wouldn't listen to me. Doesn't seem like anybody's listening to the problems of an anarchist. Got any other good news for me? <laughs> yes. Seems like Camila has taken quite a fancy to you, Captain. She's ten years too late. I gave up women like her long ago. I'll bet there's a real story in that. You know too many stories, Carreras. I still say you talk too much. Now get out of my sight! At your command, Captain.
Yes. I, I thought a little food might help. You're very kind, Lieutenant, but I really don't want any. I, uh, well, would you mind if I sort of sat down for a minute? I feel too much like an officer out there. As you please. That's what I am here for, isn't it? Oh, don't get me wrong. It's just there was nobody I could talk to. I was sorry to hear about your brother. Don't be. That's the way he always wanted it. You have your Indians to fight, and he had his. I guess you'd rather be alone. anything I can do for you. I'll be around. I've been thinking about what you said. I bet the fort must be more jolly than I expected, Captain. All thieves or murderers or worse, as fine a bunch of men as any officer ever had. Quiet, everybody! I want to talk. I want to make a toast. Uh, two toasts, in fact, I want to make. One to my men... And the other to the ladies. Ladies, if you like these men, they're yours. Previous orders countermanded. I don't care what you do. Gato, why don't you go inside and enjoy yourself? Oh, I'm a little too old for that, Captain. Besides, there just ain't enough of them to go around. You wait till tomorrow, there will be. I don't rightly know about that either. I know if I had one of them, I wouldn't let nobody else touch her. Seen any tracks? Nothing at all. But it's what I'm not seeing in here and it bothers me. Have you seen that Indian girl around anywhere? Came from inside. room and heard the screaming. Then the lieutenant comes up and shoots San Diego. The man attacked her. All right, get him out of here and bury him. Right now, at night? Right now. Sergeant, clear everybody out of there. Go on outside. It's true, Captain. He saved my life. Well, he saved something of yours, that's for sure. You stay here with her tonight.
What are you going to do with me, Captain? I don't know whether to pin a medal on you or court-martial you, Del Rio. Excuse me, sir, but uh, Santiago had it coming to him. He knew right well that was the lieutenant's woman. All right, baby, all right. Doesn't matter what you do with me. I'll never make a good officer. You could have stopped him without shooting. Oh, sure, sure. You'll be a good officer. Of course, you won't have many men left to command if you keep this up. Now, go on, get some rest. Santiago's one gaucho nobody will miss. You know, so much goes on around you, Captain. It's too bad I don't have a newspaper to write for anymore. Well, you can start one at the fort, except that nobody can read. That's what I was talking to you about. I think Pepe said it better than I could. you, Vigo? A uh, hundred silver pesos, Captain. Special price for the army. Sounds reasonable enough. Uh, that little Indian girl can't be much use to you. Suppose I give you another 50 and take her along, huh? That doesn't leave me with, with anybody for the chores. But if you want her, Captain, she's yours. Hey, you. Come here. Would it be worth 150 pesos to you not to go to the fort? Remember, I'm in permanent command there. Ten thousand. But I have only a hundred to spare. There you are, Vigo, a blushing bride with a dowry. Send the girl out. <laughs> Ruku! Ruku! Come on out here. Four or five miles or more. Never saw anything moving with Not the ground. Not even any birds around today. First time I never saw any ostriches near the lake. Circle around the other way. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yo.
coming from the village. You took your time about it. Send somebody to pick up Valgado. Get the women mounted on horseback. Are we going to try? I said mount up. Captain, you still plan to go to the fort? Of course. Where else would we go? And what about the women? The women stay here. It's too dangerous to cross with them until we get back with reinforcements. Anything else you'd like to know? Captain, the men and me, we're not going to take our women to the fort. Are you speaking for yourself, Sergeant, or for everybody? I think most of us would rather die here than bring the women to the fort. Then to let a gang of soldiers get their dirty hands on them. Have you all gone crazy? Without the women, what have we got to live for? What do you expect me to do, build another fort for you alone? Captain, it isn't like we're deserting you or anything. We'll fight, keep the fort, do anything you say, even if we don't get paid or... First you mutiny and then you expect me to... <laughs> All right, gentlemen, you've won your point. Now, would one of you like to come to the fort with me, or is it asking too much for you to leave your women for an evening, huh? I'll go with you, Captain. If I'm going to have to become a soldier, I might as well start now. Think you can keep up? I can try. Get a horse. Carreras. carried her to this grave in his arms. In a way, he buried himself. He loved her. Did the Indians kill her? Pompous killed her. She hated it here. And she hated Padron so much, she finally ran away. By the time Martin found her, she was dead of fever. She looked very much like you. Why didn't you tell me back at the railroad that you could ride? I doubt, sir, you would have allowed me to ride with the madams. You never get here, Captain. Dallying with the ladies, I expect. Well, get the man's bed ready. Can't you see how weary he looks? You'd better kill me fast, Padron. The men are right behind me. Are they? <laughs> I have a suspicion they're most likely all at the village where the women you were so thoughtful to bring me. Extra hard, boys. The captain's a strong man. Let Padron hear you scream. Huh? All you gotta do is scream. Then maybe I'll stop. You're a crazy man, Padrone. Even your men know that. You're a crazy son of a... <laughs> You're just trying to get me to kill you fast. But Padron's too smart for that. No! 
Now we go. Church. In the church! Everybody yes. in the church! Get moving! Out right of the back there, too! They're going to circle us! Come on, men! Get going! On inside! Move! 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 Back there, men! Over there! You! Quick! Down the wall! Ain't we gonna attack the church? As soon as the boys have had their fun, then we're just gonna sit back and pick them off one by one through the windows.
Come on, man. You can make it. Come on. Come on, man. Got it! You can make it. Just, just, just a little farther. You can make it! Time to bury you, but you won't mind that, friend. Martin. I need all the men at once. Padron's attacking the village. Where are the women? I ordered them to stay there. We lost all the stagecoaches. Wait. We lost many of the men. You've been attacked too? No, they deserted. Many of them. Come on and say it. My discipline only brought us defeat. Defeat? No, not quite yet. We're a couple of tired old soldiers, General, but we're not going to die in bed. finish us off. We killed Indians attack in the day, not at night. They had all afternoon, didn't they? What's the old man doing? Sure is acting strange, isn't he? There you just smoke too much coffee. <laughs> we call talk to God. We can't know we die in battle tomorrow. If he dies, all the Indians will desert us. He won't die. I wouldn't let him near any battle. Hey, 
It's hopeless, sir. There's hundreds of them. The village is burning. What about our people? They're holed up at the church. I saw them at the windows. I can't understand why they're not attacking. The drone's either waiting for daylight or for us. Let's get them now. Drunk or not, we wouldn't have a chance. Winkle is God, not chief. What does she mean by that? I think I understand her. Wait for me till dawn. What's going on, Captain? I think you'll see before long. Scout, bring your canteen. Oh, 
Sarita, what are they doing? The Indians won't fight anymore because we're in Cali State. the Indians will fight again for a long time. We still haven't enough forces to fight the drone. Well, I've told you there's only one thing to do. That won't work, Mike. We've got nothing to lose by trying. Will you let me? Chavez will grant amnesty to all of you. You can return to Fort Toro and bring your women with you. The only exception will be Padron. He lies! Charge them! I shall attack them! I shall attack them! Charge them, you cowards! Kill them! Kill them! Ha, 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 ha. 